never planned to consistently paint from her songs, but it was when Folklore and Evermore came out and I just started like diving into the music and pulling from my own life and my own story and I could really, you know, correlate it to things that she was saying. There are queer narratives within these songs that I think a lot of people pick up on if you are a queer person. And for me, it was like, I felt so validated by her lyrics and her words. I feel like we put work in galleries and like there's kind of this like wall between the viewer and the piece. Whereas if you see the process, it kind of invites the viewer into that space and they feel the emotions that you're feeling as you were creating it. And I think that that's what welcomes in the ultimate experience of being able to see it when I'm like throwing wine on it or, you know, it's a nice added benefit that I can put Taylor's beautiful voice like in the background as a painting. of the day I do want to create representation for queer people, queer women. To show our stories with these paintings, I just think seeing women as subjects rather than objects in art is something that I love and that's something that I drive into, you know, the core of my work. It's really important for me to do that and to make sure that I'm staying along those lines while doing it.